I think it's a well-deserved clap if you can uh, come through this course and you can get to the summary and come to this last video. So I want to congratulate you. Um, I hope that working through some of these examples, watching through some of my instruction, has really helped you out as far as being able to round out how to verify uh, your trigonometric identities. And I think at this point, if you feel like you have a solid, uh, solid ground on what we went over in this course, you know, go ahead and step over to the next course as far as how to solve uh, trigonometric equations. Um, or also you can uh, expand into double angle and half angles as uh, you know, those courses are being rolled out as well, as far as even with verifying and simplifying that, those types of expressions. Um, you know, one thing I just want to do as far as on a summary of the verifying, uh, verifying identities, what I wanted you to take out of this, you know, which I tried to express in my essential questions, is to really understand you know, what is going to be the process that you want to find for the verifying identities. And as you keep on working through these types of problems, I'm hoping that you start seeing, you start seeing yourself looking ahead. Um, you, know, you start seeing yourself by, all right, if I have tangents, you know, I know that tangent has cosine in the denominator if I rewrite it as sine over cosine. Therefore, I'm going to want to pair as many tangents with cosines in the numerators so then I can use the multiplicative inverse to, to have those divide into 1. Um, or also sometimes you look into, well, if I can get you know, my cosines and secants together, I know those are going to divide into 1. And you start looking ahead and kind of you know, st um, st strategically trying to see what mathematical algebraic operations you can do to help yourself simplify these. And you know, those operations come into adding and subtracting you know, your rational expressions, getting monomial denominators, uh, just multiplying certain sides by you know, certain terms, and as well, especially even as this factory. So the main pretty much common step or common mistakes that I see with students doing is one, choosing the wrong trigonometric identity which in, in reality is not a problem at all because I do it all the time, you should be doing it all the time. And, but that's not where the, really, the true mistake comes in. Students will pick the wrong identity, well that's fine. But their second mistake that even is more important is they just stop. They think that working on that one identity, if I can change, if I can rewrite tangent as sine over cosine, well then that's it. But then they don't even try um, to maybe do, why don't you rewrite tangent as one over cotangent? Right? And try to see, well, maybe that will help it out. Or maybe I'll, try diff maybe I'll try adding these or multiplying these first, and then I'll rewrite them. Or I'll turn it, everything over to sines and cosines. So it's all about trying, 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 thinking of different operations, factoring, adding, subtracting, multiply, dividing. Think about different, all these different operations that you can work through, and just don't stop. Um, now, I know there's some problems that I've worked on for a very long time and I just cannot figure out. So I know there's going to be an end at some point where you might have to go and seek help. But uh, you know, just keep on working through those problems and uh, you know, try to keep on thinking, get imaginative of you know, different ways you can solve it. But ladies and gentlemen, you are at the end of this course. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you really uh, took something out of it. And uh, I just want to thank you again and I look forward to seeing you in more courses. Thanks.